money flow has become super interesting in the crypto market. Look at what the market is doing. It's inside a pattern. It's getting congested. It is getting tough for those who are holding. But what's the truth? If you do understand this, next two to three months is going to be absolutely huge for the alt market. If you do look at the alt market, it gives you a signal that historically, when these kind of events happen, the price explodes. So the price explosion is something which is coming on the way. But what people do not understand is that in the market, the real world outside, you're watching velocity of money is going down. That's not a great sign. So when you are looking through what's happening in the history and then you're looking at the stock market, it's at the all time highs. You're looking at the crypto market. It's going through the sky. So the greed is in the market. Financial assets are going to do very, very well. So in the market, when you are here, take a look at the return rates and follow these assets and understand, okay, if that has actually done 25, 30x and there is a divergence on at least a daily or a three day chart, now be cautious, be cautious. Now, I'm not saying you don't have opportunities. You have a ton of these opportunities there. See, once you understand how to look for opportunities, the market is an opportunity zone for you. No one can beat you. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. If you actually look at all this, these patterns show you something. So this is the way how you understand what the market is showing you. Say back in the day when I actually posted this chart, I was like, okay, what's happening? BNB is trying to break higher. I'm looking for something close to $300, $350. Right now we are at that range. So we followed it up. In the SI family, we do this. When there is a breakout, you guys know it. When there is a breakout in the price action, you guys know it. And that's exactly why we are now at 890 members. Now, look at some of these coins, say, Render. It's the third best performing asset for this year in the top 100. If you go back here, when the price was at 0 0.42, now the price is $5. So you have to understand the importance of this. When the price was 0 0.42, I told you these are the resistance or in other words, targets. Look at the RSI, look at the price. They are breaking higher. That's an opportunity. Now we didn't drop it there. We followed it up as you were breaking through the accumulation range, which was super important, which is Super important to understand that we are breaking the accumulation. You are looking at these higher targets, two point something, four point something. So it gives you a huge idea that if you are about to ride this asset, you had a lot of upside. The price now is at $5. So you now need to know the macro. When the price came up, say by May, I told you guys there is a negative divergence. Yes, we are here close to $3, blah, blah, blah. But you have a negative divergence. You should go down. So now you go back here. Look at May. Mm -hmm. The post was in May, late May. So I told it's going to go back down. What happens? The price drops. Now, the price drops by how much? The price drops by 56%. And when it was down here, that's what? August. This is the post by August. I'm saying, okay, now this is an opportunity. Yeah, back in the May, I told you guys, wait outside, take the profits, blah, 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 here at the top. Now it's an opportunity zone. So if you were to do the ride up of each wave, you had perfect opportunity in the SI family to ride that, take your profits, buy back 50% lower, and then ride it higher. Now, we are close to like $5, $6 range. We came to that range. We're trying to flirt with that range. How much upside do you have at this point, right? Who knows? It can go to maybe $8, $9. I really don't know, but I do know one thing. When you are 5x, 10x, 15x, 20x, there will be a lot of people who had this and bought in at the lower end, who saw all of this coming, just like the SI family. 
they would be taking profits and they would be taking profits heavily as soon as there is a negative divergence. Right now, it feels like, now it's not confirmed, it feels like you may soon get a negative divergence if the price drops. If it continues to go upside, we need to watch how high the RSI is going. If the RSI starts showing you a divergence, we will be telling you I'm spot on. But at that time, it doesn't make sense. You need to take the profits. Now, why am I showing all of you guys this? You need to understand that there are multiple assets right now showing you this. Remember, when this asset went up, I told you. When it broke above the accumulation, I told you. Same thing. This is a large cap asset, Matic or Polygon, the way you want to call it, it's up to you. Look through these assets. It's showing you the Wyckoff accumulation. It's showing you a breakout on the RSI in the price. It all matches up. So if you go on a weekly chart on these large cap assets, it's just starting to burst. Rotation of money is happening in front of you. I discussed about that thought process in last video. I don't know how many of you actually watched this, but if you did, now you understand, okay, what's happening. Now, if you're on a weekly, what you do care is looking at the RSI and you're like, okay, this is the pattern I'm focused on and it shows you I'm extremely bullish. Not me, the market. The market shows you I'm extremely bullish. Historically, when you see these kind of breakouts, it's a huge burst to the upside. It gives you enormous strength to the upside. Look at the weekly candle. It's not closed yet. We do have some room in terms of time. So if you watch this going higher, hmm, don't just jump on a green candle. Don't end up buying somewhere close to the top. Don't do that. When the price is at the lower end, you have a lot of time to buy these. You have breakouts coming in. And when you do get that, jump in. Ride it all the way. If you are not sure about how the market works, then use the breakouts. Ride it all the way up until you see huge divergence forming. If you do see divergence, at that point, there is no argument. The price is going up. RSI is going down. The strength in the market is going down. Big guys are getting out. That means get the out of the market, right? So right now, for these assets, we are not at that stage. We are at this range. So you have a massive upside coming. Now, that's on a micro thought process. If you are on a macro, then the question becomes like, Danny, do we actually see the wave structure here. And if it's me, I would say like, okay, I do see a concern, which is the one, which is the two. Uh, three usually is like this. You don't actually see the ROI, which you actually saw in wave two, in wave three, in most of the assets. So you're not actually talking about a 200, 300X, right? Yes, you saw a very decent gain of 15X in wave one. So we may do that. 10, 15x is not a bad deal. We can literally do that. So the price going towards $5, $6, it's a huge thing, even from this point. So the large cap assets are literally showing you the possibility of how things work. The SI family gets everything break, broken down into different details so that they understand what's happening. On a macro breakout level here, if you are watching this, we'll reduce the noise, then it's a little bit clear for you. Watch this. When the market actually shows you it is breaking through, this is what you care about. Your measured move. Sometimes the market does not meet that measured move. Sometimes it goes just above that, which means you're looking for something close to 200% run up and BNB. That's all time highs for an asset like BNB, an exchange token. That means something big is coming where a lot of people are going to jump and use these kind of exchanges. They're going to use these exchanges to get something. Whatever it is, most likely, if new people should come into the crypto market, that should be a bull run. So that's where I'm looking at a weekly and the strength to get an idea. And it shows me like, okay, we're breaking through. It's actually going much higher. Now I'm like, okay, how much room do we really have? And I go on a monthly. The RSI says, I'm still here, Baba. I have a long way to the upside. 
I'm like, whoa. So are we going to see a massive run up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because there is a possibility in this asset which shows me like the one, the two, the three, and then a micro one, two, maybe this is three. I don't know. But when we do get a negative divergence on a three day or a weekly, I'll be updating you guys on the SI family. Each and every alerts will be there. SI family is there for this. We're getting a lot of new people coming in with one-on-one -on -one sessions going through all of that. And when I say that, I say it with a lot of happiness to see things like this, where people actually go through it and they are happy with what they have seen here for months. And then they're starting to give it to new members. And then there are people you know, who actually take real trades by being in the SI family. This particular individual has been with me for a long period of time. It's not just a member, he has become a brother. And at this point, when I saw this message, I'm like, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. You are $40,000 in profit in just one trade. I'm really happy. Now, I remember, you know, early in the morning when this was popping through like two or three days back, four o'clock in the morning, I was messaging, brother, watch this, right? And when we had the one-on-one -on -one sessions, we go through each and every asset you have in your portfolio, looking through the targets. We did that. And that's exactly what this particular individual is highlighting. So if you want to get that benefit in the market, look for Patreon. The link is given in the description below. If it's YouTube, if you're watching this video on Twitter, it's in the bio. So guys, if you did get some value out of this video, smash that like button for me. I see a lot of you are doing that and I'm really, really thankful for that. Now, before we drop off, let's actually take a small peek at XRP. It's actually important to look at the weekly. The weekly RSI is pointing you to the upside, not to the downside. So I do see a lot of people still arguing the fact that XRP is about to come back down to maybe 0.3, maybe 0.2. I don't know. The thought process is being shared like that in the crypto Twitter. But personally, this view does not actually look like that. It shows you the momentum is increasing. It shows you the range of accumulation has been broken to the upside and you're respecting that range. We, in general form, Call this reaccumulation. Go back to any charts previously, which you have seen historically, whatever you noticed. Say so this is your range of accumulation. You break higher, you do this consolidation and then burst. Now that's ether moving from that $300 all the way up to like 4,500. That's ether, right? Which is not that explosive as an asset, but this is XRP, which is an explosive asset. So if that did a 10, 15 X after that range, now we are talking about a nine, $10 XRP for the first run up, the first local peak, the wave structure, the first form. Mm. It's an interesting thing to note. It's an interesting thing to understand, but only time will show you where we will get the negative divergence and where we will be taking profits heavily and stepping out. Not everyone would do that, but whenever I take the profits, you guys will see that, remember? This date, you can go back in YouTube, look at that. Remember this one, that long wick, 1.91, that's where we took profit. Look at the date and watch the YouTube channel, right? It's all recorded. We took profits from XRP back then. Now, maybe it's a luck, maybe it's a coincidence, who knows, but we do think that it's the skill set. And next time, wherever we peak, wherever it is, the SI family will be having the news the first moment. And especially when I do take a trade, when I take profits, you guys see that in the alerts. And that's one of the primary reason why I say this. When you go through these kind of stuff and you're watching this, don't just sit on the other end and say like, okay, that's just luck. No, it's not. You have the market showing you opportunities and that's where you enter and exit when you have a decent ROI or skim profits and ride the capital to ride. Or when the deep profits are at a decent range, 150, 200% up, you take the capital off, let the profits ride. So you have different strategy to execute in this market based on what it's shown. Now, in last eight years of being in the markets and looking through these charts, I understood something, I learned something a lot. Some of them, some of them actually based on hard lessons, you know, we all make mistakes. So most of them, 
gives you an advantage or an edge in the market. If you are one of them who are, who's literally looking to advance your position in the market, then look through all the macro. Say, look at the dollar. If the dollar is breaking to the downside, that means crypto market, stock market, it's going to go up. Watch gold. What's the status? Which range are you going through? Are you at all-time highs? What's the RSI showing you? These all shows you what big investors are looking for in this market. That is a reflection of what will come in the crypto market as well. Now, in gold, I would say go on a monthly and look at that gives you perfect viewpoint because that's an asset with extra liquidity and extra range of time horizon you can go back look at last 20 30 40 50 years and learn from it but this kind of shows you a easy clear structure double bottom breaking out in the macd and rsi which is a huge huge thing to watch when the price is showing you this i'm like you had your reaccumulation you're breaking through so gold is going to most likely do another 100 percent from here which means you will see now remember gold is now at 12 trillion dollars so that doing another 100 percent means that's 24 trillion dollars in value where the hell is the money coming from 90 percent of the people around the globe are being looted literally central banks are buying gold for some reason so you will actually see somewhat similar price movements in crypto maybe 10 12 trillion dollars or maybe 18 20 trillion dollars who knows we'll follow that but you get the idea this is all happening at the cost of 90% on the other end. They don't care about the 10% who is making money because they have this. Because the government is cutting their debt into half and throwing it aside. Politicians want that. And that's why these things will happen again and again and again. If you are positioned well enough, you are going to take benefit of all this. Especially next three to five months. Gold, maybe eight months, nine months. Who knows? It's not that big blast of kind of an asset. It grinds higher. But crypto, it's a different deal. It burst through the roof whenever that starts. So now when you take a look at Bitcoin, don't go negative on an asset which is trending high like this. You don't have a negative divergence there on a weekly. Yes, on a daily, you do see that. But you are still inside the trend unless you see this range breaking and it going below you don't really have a concern it's all cool it's all great to watch bitcoin dominance reduce money go into the altcoins we all get rich and wealthy that's not what we really want and if you want my thought process my opinion on your portfolio you can come share that in the patreon so guys i'll meet you on the next video Bye for now.